and then we can just climb, and then you'll post it, and it'll say inactive, and then you have to post it again, and take another picture. Cry me a river. Old school, new school, need the learner. Old school, new school, need the learner. Old school, new school. Welcome back, old school, new school, 4B TV, 4B Finds, and all that good stuff. Um, yep. Father Son Resale Team, and that's going to go over our work solds for the week of 6 to 13 January. Um, we sell on online platforms eBay, Macari, Poshmark, and Goat. And we just come here every week to kind of just share our, our, our journey and our what solds. Um, so, not going to belabor that, so let's just go ahead and get started. So, first thing is it's going to be eBay. So, first up, we had a Ralph Lauren, um, a button up shirt, button down, whatever you want to call it, um, sold for 15 plus shipping. Um, with these style shirts, like dress shirts, they are a hard, uh, I say they're, they're a hard sell if you don't price them right. Um, because you know, they come a dime a dozen. So just make sure that if you're doing kind of the button up, button down shirts, especially in you know, like Ralph Lauren and you know, and things of that nature, just make sure you price them at, at, um, at a good price. Again, we get these dirt cheap, 50% off days. So, you know, we can hold them. We, we don't mind holding them a little while until, you know, until um, one sells. Um, next, we got women's A6 gel Nusa, sold for a 25 um, plus, plus ship. Um, so story with this one. So I actually got a, a message on Macari um, and hit me up saying, "Hey, can you hold this for me till Thursday?" And blah blah. blah. And um, <laughs> uh, so I, I got burnt two times already, kind of trying to hold products for people and you know waiting for them to come back around and buy. So normally I don't hold products now. I don't hold any items now or whatever. So again, if they come back and it's there. And it's still posted, it's ready to, it, they can buy it. If not, it already sold. And guess what? It sold on eBay for 25 plus shipping. Also, every time we get used ASICs, especially the women's running shoe, they, they sell pretty, pretty fast. So, all right, next we got a Volor cycling jersey. So for $15 plus um, plus shipping, um, we actually, that was our last, uh, I think we got two more, but that was, um, a cycling jersey has been going, I've um, been selling pretty well. So definitely be on the lookout, you know, if you're out there sourcing um, and pick up, you know, cycling jerseys. I have two smalls right now. I don't think that's why they're not selling. So make sure you get, you know, some, some, some good sizes. Um, next is going to be our Harley Davidson tee. So for 13 plus shipping. We actually, uh, we have what, three Harley Davidson tees right now? We have more than three. Yeah, so we got three or four Harley Davidson tees. This is actually the first one that we actually, that, that we have sold. Um, I listed them and then I delisted them. Um, because I was trying, I had them in a, in like a, in like a group kind of, eh, what word I'm looking for? I had them in like a bundle. I had them in like a bundle, so I just delisted them and now we just listen them back back on. So, you know, obviously they vintage, they're worth more. Um, but you know, so we just getting those teeth back on. Um, next is gonna be a Paisley um Tommy Hill figure shirt, so for 15 plus shipping. Again, this goes back to my button-up shirts. You know, just make sure you, you price them right or you're gonna be holding on to those things for a long time. All right, next, uh, Castelli cycling jersey, so for twenty three dollars plus shipping. Now, like I said, um, it's just going into summertime. The bike riders coming out, and they looking for looking for items. Um, I wish we would have got the rest of the jerseys when we went there. Um, still get them. Yeah, you think they still did? Yeah, so we went to our Goodwill. They had about you know four or five cycling jerseys. So now I wish I would have grabbed them all because um, we left obviously left money on the table there. Um, so that's all our eBay, um, 16 to 13 June. Um, so like I said, no knockouts. So that's a bunch of bunch of jabs. Just keep it, you know, keep flowing and keep money coming in. Um, gross sales for the week was 286. Um, so, but for this title, it's gonna be 300. That's the you know, that's the round it off. <laughs> all right, next Macari. So one, we had a Harley Quinn T-shirt. So for seven dollars, and we charge shipping for that. So obviously if you're selling it for something for that low, and it's a t-shirt, old, you know, old t-shirt, but I'm pretty sure the graphic somebody would like. So we sold and we charged shipping. So um, so really the only thing we paid as far as fees is 10% fees on Macari is 70, you know, 70 cents. Um, and then the, the buyer paid the shipping. So that's Harley Quinn. And that's actually our second DC shirt within two weeks. So 
Hey, just be on the lookout. Um, next we had a Heli Hansen packable jacket. Um, had this item for ooh for months now, so definitely was happy to see it go. Hope whoever bought it, you know, enjoy the item. Um, nice jacket. Heli Hansen makes some some pretty um, nice jackets. Um, so that's only like I said, two sales on Macari for this week. Then last we actually had a goat sale. I'm always surprised when I see the kind of the goat thing pop up because. Um, it's kind of hard to track your stuff on on gold or whatever, but um, so Nike React Element 55 sold for 115 on gold. Um, so quick story about that. Only had one pair for some reason when you listed them. For some reason they double listed. They did. So yeah. So this morning, I got another gold sale. Then when I looked, it was the same shoe that already sold earlier in the week. So. I had to cancel the order and with that lost some, um, um, you got like ratings on there. So I lost 10 points in ratings. Um, I'm still above, I think that bust us down to 94. I think it was at 104. So you got to watch out with GOAT because your ratings is, is, is you want to keep your rating above, uh, I think it's 90 because that keeps your commission. I think commissions there is 9.5% right now. So um, definitely just watch, just watch that and, you know, watch how you listed. And, you know, I think it's kind of, you know, gets topsy turvy sometimes when you cross listen across different platforms so let's be careful then be careful with that and also if something sells on one platform you got to make sure that you go in and, and delete it off the other platforms um so yeah so like i said this week that's a nice short video uh what sold uh like i said 300 so that um 300 so that brings us uh first two weeks of of, of june to about 700 in gross sales um, so hopefully we just keep trending, you know, potentially to that 1500 mark. Went to Ross, we went to Ross and, and we did some sourcing yesterday. So Ross is starting, slowly starting to pick back up. We got a couple of good, good finds there. Hit our thrift store up also. Um, got a couple of good items. So um, definitely just want to spend the Sunday chilling, listed. Okay. And, yeah, yeah it might be. So you know how it's like inactive listening some listing sometimes? Mm -hmm. It'll tell me it have been listed, but then if you quit out, it'll say inactive listing, but then you'll repost it, and then that's why there might be two. Yeah. So just be careful, yeah. So with the GOAT, just be careful with, with that because sometimes GOAT will kick your kick your listing back because maybe the you took a picture and like the tag that wasn't clear or something like that. So um that's why I, I I I email customer service, kinda say, hey, here's what happened. Um, obviously there was an error and that's why I had to cancel the order. I understand the rationale because obviously if a customer buys something, you don't want, that, that's bad for business, you know, got people canceling orders left and right or whatever. So definitely, um, yeah, lesson learned, um, going forward, lesson learned <laughs> to make sure that when you finish, finish with the listings that you actually make sure it's only, if you only have one of the shoe, that it's only a, a single listing. So, um, you got anything? Uh, go check out the gaming channel for MBTV. <laughs> so, check out the other channels. Um, and then, um, hey, enjoy the rest of your day. Double salute. You know. And, hey, we out. That's it. That's what happened. It does that. Like, it'll, you'll take the most perfect picture. And then it'll show up blur my um, And then you'll retake it. It does that. Like, it'll, you'll take the most perfect picture. And then it'll show up blur my um, And then you'll retake it. And then we just fine, and then you'll post it, and it'll say inactive, and then you have to post it again and take another picture. Crime your river. We out. <laughs> I did it, you could do it too. You need to don't be afraid to look up in the sky.